I'm Brianna, and we're here for another episode of Connecting with Fiber. We're joined by Ron Bierman, Head of Network Operations, to talk about upload and download speeds. Ron, this has become more of a topic of conversation. When I order one gig internet for my home, what does that mean? So when you buy one gig, the one gig itself refers to the bandwidth or the amount of speed that is available to you in your home for downloading things. Now, historically, people, when they used to use the internet, it used to be relatively simple. It was web browsing, it was email. The amount of data that was coming, being downloaded to the person's home was, was much less. Now, today though, people are moving towards streaming video. They're communicating over video with their school or with their work. So the, uh, the services that we're providing in the home or the services they're using in the home require much more bandwidth than they used to use. So if the majority of things I do on a day-to-day -day basis are download, what is upload and why do I care? Yeah, you're, you're right. A lot of what we do today is, is download, all that streaming and stuff like that. But if you think about what people are now actually doing in the home, there's, there's a lot more upload than, than people might, might think. So for instance, uh, instead of just doing email or, or browsing the, the web, from a work perspective, people are now doing big PowerPoint presentations. They're, they're uploading files to and from their place of work over VPN connectivity, et cetera. So you know, those, those files require a lot of upload speed, especially if you don't want to have to wait for three hours for a 30 meg PowerPoint presentation to load up. In addition to that, people are doing more telehealth. The, there is a lot more importance on the quality of the video that's happening, not just from the doctor to you, which is download, but also from you to the doctor. The ability for that doctor to see very crisply, maybe something that's going on with your condition in the home, that requires good, solid video connectivity. And that video connectivity from your camera to the doctor is all upload speed. That makes sense. It seems like I use upload a lot more than I thought. So are there situations that I use both upload and download at the same time? Yeah, you're right, and it happens more than people actually probably think. Video conferencing is obviously a, a great example. You have download in terms of the video that's coming to your device, but you also have the video that's going out, and that video needs to be crisp and clear. That upload speed needs to be great for that video to be in the best condition it can be when the other person receives it on the other side. Another great example is gaming. It's really important that, that for a game to work the way it's supposed to, there has to be great download speeds. All those high resolution graphics hitting your PC, that has to be happening. And at the same time, you need lightning fast interaction backwards from the, from the player. The keystrokes they hit, the, the, the controller buttons they hit, has to fly back across that network and hit that gaming server. Any latency in that uh, is gonna cause issues for the gamer. So what kinds of speeds do I need to accomplish these things? How are these speeds affected when I'm using it along with my family and neighbors? So it's not just one person working off a computer in the home any longer. Now it might be the, the parents working off the home through VPN, uploading and downloading big files, running email, doing video conferencing. At the same time that's happening, you might have kids over watching Netflix, or maybe another kid that's on a, on a call through school, a Zoom call with all of, the, all of their students, or even uploading homework. So with the changes in both the applications and the number of users in the home, it is critically important that the bandwidth continues to grow and change with the usage. And it's not just download that's important. So obviously you need more download speed to bring more things into the home. But if the more people you have using those applications, you also need that upload speed so that as they're transferring data back, as they're doing that video, that their services, those applications aren't affected by the congestion that typically happens over a pipe that doesn't have enough bandwidth. That's where one gig, two gig on, on download, but also high upload speeds are critically important to the way we use our internet connectivity today. I think that's all the questions I had. Ron, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Connecting with Fiber. We'll see you next time.